Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Paul? This is Chris. Hey, Chris. It's Computer Nerd from chat. Hey. Um, the question I was asking earlier about your IM, the people in chat did answer it, but I was more asking before you switched to your Mac what you used as an all-in-one instant messenger. Well, first of all, um, I haven't switched away from Windows yet. Uh, it's right here. And uh, what 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 do you use on your Vista? In fact, I use Miranda. I know I don't use it's not Vista here. That's Windows XP. But I do you use I use Miranda, and I can tell you Miranda uh, is far less buggier than Adium. And I've been trying Adium, and it works. I mean, it, it once it's running, I I do not have a problem with Adium at all on the Mac, um, at all. And that's you know it's. Good for a unified instant messenger, but it seems to like nine out of every ten times that I launch it, um, it freezes on startup and I can't get past it. So, you know, the reason why I mean, we all have instant messaging clients, and the reason why I think geeks are more, you know, in line with thinking I just need one client because we have a lot of friends on a lot of different networks. Most people just have one instant messaging client open on their desktop at one time, so it's not much of an issue. Uh, whether it's MSN Messenger, Yahoo, AOL, Google Talk, S Skype, you know, the list kind of goes on and on and on and on and on. So I have, uh, you know, in the past, I started my first universal uh, instant messaging client was Trillion, and that was before they added Jabber support. Uh, I, you know, used that for a while, the free version, then I upgraded to the Pro. Uh, and kind of got tired of it after a while because I just thought it was running a little too slow. Um, and then I switched from Trillion to Miranda. And Miranda r runs fast. On Windows, boy, I tell you, it run it's a speed demon. I, I still love Miranda. I love Miranda. It's just so sleek. It's tweakable. It's configurable. It works. I mean, it, it does, you know, crash. I mean, software does crash. Uh, every once in a while, but you know, not so many times that I just couldn't use it. Uh, you know, I, I I wish that I could get Miranda, you know, on OS 10, but I'm just as happy if I can't get, um, you know, Adium to work on OS 10 uh, as a universal instant messaging client. Uh, then you know, I've got Miranda as as, uh, as kind of the fallback because you know it works. And uh, you know, I think that it's just a matter of time before. Any user doesn't have to worry about what instant messaging program they have running. Uh, I'd be interested in finding out any other universal instant messaging clients that would be out there that work well. Uh, on the road, I like using Mebo, um, although I, I tend to not put people in groups. Like I don't organize in groups because I have too many friends. I wish I could just sort by um, protocol, and I can do that in Miranda. I cannot do that in, um, in Adium. And uh, Trillion was a, a different beast uh, altogether. I think Trillion sees the writing is, is certainly on the wall. Uh, game, of course, is now Pigeon as people are, are you know, scrolling through there. Um, yeah, I, you know, it, it's got to get easier to use. And it's inherently got to be cross-brand, and it's inherently got to be cross-platform. That is the, that's, that's the win. If Mebo ran as a desktop widget and worked and looked, you know, really nice and integrated with my entire experience, I'd be thrilled to death. Yeah, one of the other issues I was having with the Universal is that they just don't have uh, the same features as the real one. So it says yeah, that but yeah, using a different version yeah, and that that I doesn't don't have me. the same features. You know, honestly. All I want my instant messenger to do is allow me to message people instantly. Uh, honestly, I mean, I, I I use if I want to do a video or uh, you know a call, I'll use Skype. Uh, and I never do that. How many times do you see me open up a Skype conversation here? Okay. Skype is great. I love Skype. It's you know a lot of people use it. Wonderful program. Um, but I just I use it as an instant messenger more than anything. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I have too many okay. friends. Maybe that's the problem. I do use Ventrilo, but that's not 
that's not what we're talking about. Yeah. Um, oh, I was just going to make another comment when you keep saying that you don't understand why people make their uh, Windows desktops, Windows environments, look like Macs. Yeah. Uh, especially in my case, it's mostly because it just can't afford a real Mac. Yeah, but why wouldn't you just keep Windows the way it is? I love the Mac environment and how easy it is to move from window to window, and I love the Mac dock versus the taskbar. Yeah. It, 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 it just seems so much easier to work with, so much easier to... I see, I disagree. <laughs> I, I, I Honestly, maybe it's just because I've been using Windows for so long. I... I, I there are parts of it that I think are easier, but, you know, I found so much more productivity on Windows using two free apps. One, Launchy. Have you used that? Yes. I love Launchy. That allows you to get to any kind of program that you may already have installed quickly just by typing it in. Um, and then I wrote about this the other day, a program called Enzo. I just put it. I just put it on my blog. In fact, oh, Sam Zahn just mentioned it right there. Enzo, I'm right there. Um, too Maybe wonderful. You were going to mention that as soon as I said that, actually. Oh, Enzo, yeah, uh, and it just recently went free. Uh, no, I'm still very much aware of uh, you know desktop software uh, on you know Windows and Mac. In fact, my ex my horizons have been expanded, uh, you know, tenfold by being able to do stuff like this. And then I just learned about, um, oh, it's a Linux distribution uh, that will allow you to run Linux apps natively, or <laughs> Linux apps natively on the Windows desktop. It's called uh, something Linux, and Linux. Very interesting stuff. I love it. I love it. I love being able to play in all these operating systems all at once. It's, just, it's, it's a lot of fun. But you know, uh, if if you're trying to make Windows be less like Windows, there you know those Launchy and Enzo and uh, or Enso, however you want to pronounce it. I keep thinking Enzo, like the character on Reboot from way back when. Um, you know, it 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 matters a lot. You know that you've got a quality components inside your computer that you've got the right tools at your fingertips. And I, you know, you may say the dock looks you know elegant. I would kind of disagree. Um, but uh, you've got so many good freeware apps uh, and open source apps available right at your fingertips for Windows that will just increase productivity and make Windows is as easy to work with as any operating system. Um, do you mind if I throw out a question to the chat real quick? Sure, go ahead. Um, I was using uh, Ubuntu on my, it was almost brand new then, my Dell Inspiron 1501 and uh, Ubuntu just didn't have any uh, drivers for my wireless card, so I had to switch away from it because I didn't like being tied down. So I was wondering if any of them had this issue or have seen this issue and know of any solutions. Yep, you might want to check out, uh, I don't know how frequent it's being updated, but uh, Lockernome has a channel on Linux, Matt Hartley. Uh, is kind of our resident Linux expert, and he's written extensively about uh, Ubuntu and uh, wireless issues. Extensively. He would know. Okay. Cool? Thanks, Chris. Oh, no problem. Thanks for calling. Thanks for hanging in there.